today's project apparently. Um, the front axle and steering and all that shit started pulling away from the body. So I had to try to get everything off and find more screws and washers and nuts and all that shit. And I ended up having to cut all the heads off of that because the, the they had Phillips head screws in them and they were all wore off. So got these two washers here and got an assortment of washers here I'm trying to uh, jerry rig some shit up because I don't have uh, the correct amount of shit for all four holes so see if we can cobble something together well damn if we ain't got a mess in here boys we've got a fucking mess um, put a little primer on that and and a little bit of black spray paint well spray paint on that and this more or less not for beauty purposes or whatever but just to cover up some of the ugly um i mean the wagon's a wagon you know it's it's uh not beautiful by any means now i mean it's not going to be a permanent thing Black is the only color I had other than like blue and whatever. Um, I don't have any red, unfortunately. Um, so I ended up having to, uh, well, like I said, I grinded to them the um, bolts out of this or whatever. And you know, I've got them you know, broke off and laying down there. And, you know, it's kind of hard to explain but I'm pretty sure you can get the idea um, that each of the bolts went in through this way and on the inside of the actual wagon itself there was a Phillips head screw or head and uh, well needless to say that uh, the bolts are so damn rusted and it's not going to focus Maybe if I could hold my hand still, it might. But anyway, fuck it. Um, I had to grind the bolt the heads of them off or whatever to get them out of that. Because I just all I did was just pretty much rip that off of the body itself. And with it, you know being so bad as far as rust or whatever and you can see the damn hole it seems like uh you know nothing is made out of anything you know it's not made out of shit anymore obviously but uh and i had to beat the metal back in a little bit but uh went to good old tractor supply because i didn't have any uh bolts and shit that was going to work so I ended up getting these not this not that uh hold on let me dig into the bag here Bear with me for a minute. Okay. So my plan is to take these bolts here. They already came with their nuts or whatever. And to take the small washer and put it on top of the big washer. Put the screws through it. And then run it down into the body. That way it'll help hold it together. Now I should have. I probably should have gotten something to go on the bottom of this because those bolts are going to run straight through and then the nuts going to have to go on the bottom but uh i think it should be okay these are uh let's see they're one quarter by three inch and uh i think they should work out pretty fucking good but uh 
I don't know how long it's going to take for it to dry because the temperature out here is not hot, not cold, but it's obviously still kind of wet. I mean, it is drying. I didn't put a real heavy coat of black on. I made sure it had plenty of primer though. Oh, and the runs, the great runs. You see that shit? Well, anyway, the primer apparently I didn't shake it good to begin with, and when I first squirted it out, it had you know whatever the primer was mixed with, and it just watered like water. It just ran, ran, ran. And I didn't, uh, I wasn't priming it laying flat down like it is now. I had it standing up, you know. But, and I did use the heat gun to try to heat it up a little bit to try to at least get a coat, you know, a coat of paint on it anyway. And like I said, the paint's not permanent. It's just there to cover up some of the ugly. But, uh, when I get it, if I get it slapped back together right here in a little bit, I'll uh, turn the camera back on. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. Back together. All in one piece. Yes, the bolts are long, but I kind of needed it to be long. I needed it to be at least... Uh, Two and a half. Well, actually, they didn't have a two and a half. They only had twos and then they had threes. And twos would have been just way too short. And threes, obviously, are a little bit too long. Um, twos would have actually just come below the bar and you wouldn't have been able to have got a nut on it. I did put a little bit of plastic dip in here just to make it look a little bit better. Um, put a little bit of plastic on the bolt heads uh, to try to help prevent them from rusting. The bottom isn't is going to be as bad as the top because, well, obviously shit's going in it, not under it. But uh, hold on a minute. Try not to get a copyright strike, but I had a radio on, so. Anyways, uh, not gonna be a very long video, obviously. Uh, just, uh, well, I mean, we can talk a little bit about it. Been one hell of a day, I can tell you that. I can honestly say that I have worked, even though it was only for four hours, and then of course I come home and put in four more hours <laughs> but uh you remember yesterday the wagon obviously was full of cans and shit and got all that separated and <sighs> I got to looking at how bad the the wagon was in the beginning and I didn't record any of it you know I, I just didn't worry about it at the time but um pretty much the front end was about to fall out from underneath it it was only you know it's four bolts and all two of the three, two of the four screw heads um, had pulled away from the actual body of the wagon. And the other two were the only things that were holding it together. And, um, you know, they were so, they were so beat up and rusted and whatever. Yeah, I, I mean, I had to literally grind the whole entire head off the bolts in order to get them out. I mean, I can use one of the new ones right here, for example, and pretty much the, the uh, you see where the head bolt itself is round and, you know, it's domed or whatever. Well, the ones that were in the wagon were flat across. So they were kind of like recessed and the, I mean, there was just nothing to bite a hold of. And once I got the front end tore off of it, because I had to take a pry bar and literally pry it away from the body. Which sucks because you're taking metal away from it. I don't have a welder and I, and I really can't weld that grand. You know, I'll be the first to admit. 
Not that I don't, not that I wouldn't try because I mean, if I had one, I'd be out here every day practicing, trying and trying and trying. Because there's a thousand and one things that you can weld. Um, but anyway, once I got it broke away or whatever and ground the the heads of the bolts off, I you know beat the the rest of the bolt out of the hole and. Uh, took the grinder and just ran over it to try to get some of the rust off. Um, then of course went to tractor supply because I didn't have, either I had a, either I had one bolt or not enough bolts, or if I had two washers or if I had five washers, nothing was fucking working the way I wanted it to. Primarily I didn't have enough bolts. I had one and it wasn't enough, but I didn't have a nut to fit it. So I had to, you know, luckily with these here, you get, um, you get three bolts and three nuts. The only thing that had to be bought extra was the, the washers. Um, we've, we've, we've put this little wagon through hell, you know, and, uh, you know, it's, it's by far not new anymore. <laughs> Um, the tires have never been inflated, but yet it manages the tires the way they are. They're that hard rubber, so they, they hold up pretty good, but it's, it's moved center blocks around out here. It's moved bricks around out here, tree limbs, pine cones, um, trash, grass, leaves. Um, and when I started using it, cans. And right here recently, you know, I just picked the damn thing up and set it in the back of the truck and drove down the road and pulled off the road somewhere and got out, pulled it out and started on my way. And once it got full, I quit. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, as far as the black paint or whatever, like it wasn't to make it make it look pretty it was just to cover up the ugly and try to prevent it from rusting farther than what it is because the body on it's already weak um they don't build them damn things out of nothing anyway i mean what can you expect you know i think the wagon was like 50 bucks if even that um and that was brand new now they make other ones out there on the market that are made out of that ABS plastic. And I think the price tag on it is like 70. The absolute end to this will be when the whole bottom probably rusts out of it. Um, or something breaks that we can't fix, you know? Um, I mean, obviously, parts on it are going to fall apart, and they're going to fall off, and you're going to lose shit. And it's not, it, it does not have as many of the original parts on it as it used to. Um, all of it was put, just put together with pretty much nuts and screws. Hardly any washers were involved in it at all. And, uh, and I did take the the wooden parts off of it at one point in time and um they started getting really really faded and so you know i sanded them up a little bit and put a little bit of stain on them but i mean you know it is what it is worst case scenario just buy another one to start all over again when this one falls apart um or may upgrade and get a bigger one who knows <sighs> but I like it I like it when you can go out and you can spend you know very little money over spending a lot of money it was like three dollars and fifty cents for the bolts and then you know a few dollars well maybe not even a few dollars in gas to go and get it because tractor supply ain't but like Give or take like four miles there and four miles back. If even that. And that's just estimating.
Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it brings it to the point as far as, like, if, you, if you've got shit like this around your house, whether it be a lawnmower, a push mower, a wagon, a wheelbarrow, um, a hand cart, or a hand truck as they call it, um, you know, you, you fix that shit. If, if you can fix it, if it's not, if it's to the point where you cannot do anything absolutely at all with it, then yeah, okay, maybe it's time to retire it and find something new. But if you can keep the old shit going, then why not? Um, you know, I may have just extended the life of this wagon another six years. Who's to say? Who knows? Um, who's to say what it looks like in the next year or so? I mean, it, it could fall apart again tomorrow, but then... It, it, it isn't not it's not because I didn't try you know what I mean you've got to try you've got to constantly keep trying um, you know the Great Wall wasn't built in one day and items like this granted you know they're not made out of a whole lot and a lot of things could be built better but then you got to look at the age of it too. This lawnmower, for example, I'm just figuratively saying there's a uh, there's a way that I can find out the age of the lawnmower as far as what year it was manufactured because I can't seem to. Uh, I mean, the the ID tag or whatever is is wore off where the year it was built is, so I don't know. But I'm pretty sure there's a way I can tell what year it is. But I, let's just give or take. Let's just say that it was built in 2006. Well, it's 2015 now. So, and with eight, only a little under 800 hours on it, it's it served its time. And if I can keep it prolonged and keep right on using it, then so be it. So far, it has done good. I've put very little money into it. Um other than the purchase price and um, I've had it now for two years when we went to try to supply uh, something told me to go look on the paint aisle and uh, they had the Cub Cadet yellow I didn't see the white but I had you know, thought about taking the, the panels off and sanding everything down and repainting it, you know. Try to spruce it up a little bit. Especially because it's got, it's got rust on it real bad. Especially, you know, right here where you're, where you rest your feet at. The running boards, as I would call them. It's pretty, pretty rusted. It's, it's, it's been through a little bit of hell. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, sorry, I was just looking to see what time it is because you know I've gotten a late start and and this right here occupied some time and try not to overdo it. But anyways, that's pretty much all I got as far as as you know recording shit and talking about shit or whatever. In the very beginning of this video, you're going to see a, uh, a uh, helicopter that I did a little recording on. It was just flying, you know, over or whatever. And I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, considering that, you know, the subject yesterday was about the armed, you know, forces or whatever. And how good they can fly and whatnot. I mean, there has been helicopters and jets and fighter jets and all kinds of shit in the air here lately i don't know what's going on i do know that the national guard had to go to maryland or was on their way to maryland um and that, that you know those parts of maryland were now under a curfew you know the thing is, is the riders Kept right on going, kept right on going, kept right on going. They wouldn't stop. So, 
You have to send someone in who is going to make you stop. You asked for it, you got it. You know what I mean? Some people got to learn the hard way. And I guess they did. But it is what it is. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. Maybe tomorrow will be a little bit more, I don't know. Maybe it'll be something more of a better topic to discuss other than just a wagon. But I mean, hey, you know, it is what it is. I really not no, uh, no specific how to involved. It's just, if you run into the same situation I did, you assess the situation you think very carefully okay do i have do i have a grinder do i have a drill do i have this do i have that in case you know you may run across a situation of like the bolt may not be something that you can just grind the head off of and you may have to drill it out um you know you start from a very small bit not tiny bit but small make sure you use plenty of lubrication because you will burned a bit up and maybe even break it and um, sometimes you actually can start drilling or whatever and actually get the damn nut or I mean, bolt or screw or whatever to start backing itself out especially if you uh, I think they make a, uh, a reverse drill bit and it's made specifically for you know backing out screws I'm not sure you know hold don't hold it against me if I'm wrong but uh yeah just uh you know assess the situation and see what you got to go for I mean it could be something simple as four dollars worth of bolts personally I'd rather spend four dollars than four hundred dollars not saying a wagon would cost four hundred dollars, but you get the idea. Anyway, I'm just babbling on now, so let's call it. You might as well subscribe if you haven't already. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And until tomorrow, stay groovy.